What is going on everybody? It's me Tamara Aziz and today we're going to be going through this step-by-step -step process to convert your Canadian dollars to American dollars. This process is awesome because it'll save you from conversion fees that you would have had to pay at either a bank, another broker, or a place that does currency conversion in general. And be sure to stay until the end of the video because I'll be giving you a recap of the steps along with whether or not you should actually use Norbert's Gambit. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to want to log into your account on Questrade. Now once you've actually logged into your account, you're going to go to accounts over here in the top left and you're going to press trading. Over here, it'll show you all of your account balances and that's how you know you're at the trading tab. From here, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that this is highlighted on stock. Then you're gonna wanna look up dlr.to. You're gonna then click it. It's just an ETF that tracks the currency conversion between US dollar and Canadian dollar. Now you're gonna buy dlr.to. As you can see over here in the quantity, you're gonna wanna switch that up. For me, I only want to convert 600 Canadian dollars. So to make the calculation, I can either divide it by the bid price, which is right over here, or I could divide it by the ask price. So let's just say $600 divided by 1334. I'm going to be getting about 44 shares. So I'm going to type in the quantity 44. And this is where the bid and ask actually comes into play when you put in the limit price. If you want this order to be filled in right away, you're going to want to buy at the ask price. Now, what is the difference between the ask and buying at the bid? Buying at the bid price, you're going to take a while to actually fill the price, but you're going to be avoiding something called an ECN fee. Usually this ECN fee isn't too crazy. It's usually just a cent or two cents. It really depends on how much you're actually exchanging. But for me, it doesn't really matter and I don't mind incurring that ECN fee. So I'm gonna buy this at 1335. The ask price, so I can get this filled as soon as possible so I could actually record this video for you. One thing that I do have to mention is that I am doing this through something called a margin account. You might have an RRSP or a TFSA. If you have either a TFSA or an RRSP and you want to do this, you have to pay attention to this specific step. From the toolbar, you're going to go to account management and actually click on account management. Now, because for me, I have a margin account and not a TFSA or RRSP, this option is not going to show up for me. But essentially, there's going to be an option where it says currency settlement setting you would then set this to the currency of the transaction you have to do this step because when it comes down to selling that etf that you just bought you want to make sure that the us dollar goes right into your account and doesn't get converted back into canadian and then back into your account because that just defeats the entire purpose of norbert's gambit now we're going to press buy it's going to reconfirm your order for you so yeah 44 shares at 1335 gives you almost $600. After this, you're going to send the order in. And within seconds, you'll find that you've already filled your order. And you'll see right over here, you have your 44 shares filled at 1334 actually. So that's pretty good. So now the next thing you want to do is you get your US dollars now, right? So the next step here is to go wherever it says your name in the top right corner beside logout. You're going to click that and then you are going to go to help. Then you are going to see at the bottom left of that window that just popped up a little headset with a microphone. You go over it and it says chat for the chat option. You could put in your pin number and your account number. It'll make it a lot faster for them to actually help you out. But to be honest, I completely forgot what my pin was. So. We're going to just be putting in proceeding as usual. Now for this, where it says I want to chat about, you can either press two of the first options, which is funds transferring or login or trades, margin calls and other. For this one, I'm just going to put in funding transfer and login and we're going to continue. And then it's going to give it a couple of minutes. So as you can see, I'm placed 59th in line. So we're going to have to wait a couple of minutes. Once they actually get back to me, I'll put you guys on. Two thousand years later. So because the chat team was asking me some personal questions, I didn't actually record that part for you guys. As soon as you get connected with a Questrade representative, all you have to do, and I'm not even joking, you literally just have to copy this message. Please journal my X amount of shares 
of dlr.to to dlr.u.to. Basically, as soon as you say this, they'll understand what you mean. This will convert the ETF that you just bought into the American counterpart of it. By doing this, you'll now have that exact same ETF, but it'll just be in American currency. And from there, all you have to do is actually sell. One thing to note is that this conversion of the Canadian ETF into the American ETF will take anywhere from three to four business days. After these couple of days are over, you're gonna notice something over here. Where it says positions under your account, you are not gonna see dlr.to anymore you are going to see dlr.u.to. And once you actually see this, you're going to end up clicking your position and you are going to press buy or sell. Obviously, because I haven't converted mine to dlr.u.to yet, I'm just going to show you how we quickly do it. Obviously, the shares are going to stay the exact same. But then when it comes down to the limit price, you're going to either sell at the bid price or you're going to sell at the ask price. If you want to avoid this extra fee, you are going to be selling dlr.u.to at the ask price. This might take a little longer for you to fill, but you avoid that extra fee. If you want the trade to be placed as soon as possible, you're going to be selling at the bid price. That's pretty much it. As soon as you end up selling dlr.u.to, you are going to find US dollars sitting in your account and waiting for it to be traded. So now a quick recap of all the steps. Step number one, log into your Quest Trade account. Step number two, buy dlr. Dot to. Three, go on chat and ask a Quest Trade representative to journal your shares to dlr.u.to. Step number four, wait three to four business days and sell your dlr.u.to. From there, you will find that you have US dollars straight into your account. You should only be using Norbert's Gambit if you are converting more than 500 Canadian dollars. With this process, the more that you convert, the more money that you end up saving because of the higher conversion fees that other places would charge you. You should also use Norbert's Gambit if you are a patient person because this does take three to four business days for you to actually convert your money into US dollars. Another reason you should be using Norbert's Gambit is if you wanna buy stocks and ETFs from the US. If you were to buy these with Canadian dollars, every single time you buy or sell, you're gonna be paying a conversion fee. And that's something that I'm sure everybody wants to avoid. That's pretty much it when it comes down to this tutorial. I wanna hear what you guys think and please let me know if you have any questions. I've been doing Norbert's Gambit ever since I got questioned and honestly, it's been a lifesaver. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is Tamar Z signing out. Peace.